In this video, we're going to take a look at solving equations by factoring, where we get to use some of our factoring shortcuts to help us along the way. We know when we're solving equations that have x squared or higher exponents, the most commonly used strategy will be to use the zero product rule that says if the equation equals zero and we have factors, each factor must equal zero. This means we have to take care of two things first. First, it must equal zero, then it must be factored. So let's do that with this equation, 3x squared plus 4x minus 5 equals 7x squared plus 4x minus 14. First, we like it to equal zero, which means we need to make everything on one side of the equation. As we do, we like the x squared to stay positive. So we've got 7x squared on the right and 3x squared on the left. Let's move everything to the right. That way, the x squared will still be positive. So we'll subtract 3x squared from both sides, line up our like terms as we do this. We'll subtract the 4x from both sides, and we'll add 5 to both sides. And when we do, we're left with 0 equals 7x squared minus 3x squared is 4x squared. 4x minus 4x, that's 0. And negative 14 plus 9 is, or plus 5 is negative 9. Looking at the remaining equation, now that it equals 0, we're ready to factor. Because there are only two terms, we're thinking about our factoring shortcuts. Because the x is squared, I'm thinking difference of squares. Let's see if we can take the square root of each term. The square root of 4x is 2x, and the square root of 9 is 3. It does work. We can factor it to 0 equals, don't forget the 0 equals, the sum and difference of the square roots 2x and 3. 2x plus 3 times 2x minus 3. Now that it's factored, we can set each factor equal to 0. 2x plus 3 equals 0, and 2x minus 3 equals 0, and solve the resulting equations. By subtracting 3, 2x equals negative 3, and dividing by 2 to get our first answer, x equals negative 3 halves. Solve the second equation by adding 3 to get 2x equals 3, and dividing by 2 to get x equals 3 halves. We have our solutions, which we found by making the equation equal 0, factoring, and setting each factor equal to 0. Let's try one more example. Again, in this problem, we need to make it equal 0. The x squared is already positive, so let's move everything over to the left side. We can do that by subtracting 12x and adding 9. Making sure our exponents are in descending order, we have 4x squared minus 12x plus 9 equals 0. Now that it equals 0, we're ready to solve by factoring. AC, 4 times 9 is 36, and we want to add to negative 12. We can quickly see this is negative 6 and negative 6, and that's significant because we notice that those numbers match. When they match, we stop everything and say it's going to be something squared equals 0. Taking the square root of the 4x squared, we get 2x, sine from the middle, and the square root of 9 is 3. Now that it's factored, we can set each factor equal to 0. Because this factor is squared, there really is only one factor, 2x minus 3, to equal 0 which means we only have one equation and one solution. We can quickly find this one solution by adding 3 to both sides, giving us 2x equals 3, and dividing both sides by 2 to get x equals 3 halves. Again, we found our solutions by first making them equal to 0, then factoring in this example and the other using factoring shortcuts, and finally, setting each factor, even if there's only one, equal to 0.